look at this question what does it say if theta if 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to pi by 2 and we have been given two equations here the first equation says 2y cos theta equals to x sin theta and there's one more equation which says uh, 2x uh, secant theta minus y cosecant theta equals to 3 then what will be the value of x square plus 4y square so we are supposed to find out what will be the value of x square plus 4y square now again i would say substitute some value of theta the only condition given here is theta should fall between 0 and 90 it can be equal to 90 it can be equal to 0 right both included so theta here is given that it, it belongs to what range 0 to pi by 2 right theta should be between these two so substitute something shall we substitute 90 no substituting 90 may make it complex here see the first equation is not a problem when you take theta as 90 cos 90 is 0 sin 90 is 1 but secant 90 secant 90 is undefined so don't go ahead with 90 can you take theta as 0 let's take 0 what happens 0 again first equation is not a problem cos 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 secant 0 will remain 1 but cosecant 0 is undefined so 0 and 90 are ruled out try with something else shall we take uh, uh, theta as 45 Let's take theta as 45, see what happens. So go with theta as 45. What do we get? Theta equals to 45 degrees, right? Implies 2y into 1 by root 2 equals to x into 1 by root 2. So 1 by root 2 and 1 by root 2 gets cancelled. We get x equals to 2y. This is one equation, right? Look at the other equation, the second equation here. 2x, right? Theta is 45. So we get 2x into secant 45 what is secant 45 see cos 45 is 1 by root 2 secant 45 is root 2 minus y into cosecant 45 is also root 2 equals to 3 getting it so simplify this now if we take root 2 common we get 2x minus y equals to 3 or we can say 2x minus y equals to 3 by root 2 so basically we have got two equations in two unknowns can you solve for these two equations for, for these two values now x equals to 2y is given and 2x minus y equals to 3 by root is also given so two equations in two unknown values solve for x and y whatever x and y we get here substitute in the requirement what is the requirement x square plus 4y square and we get the requirements let's do that let us substitute x equals to 2y so what do we get x equals to 2y 2x will become 4y 4y minus y equals to 3 by root 2 which implies 3y is 3 by root 2 or y equals to 1 by root 2 if y equals to 1 by root 2 what will be the value of x x is equal to 2y right so 2 into 1 by root 2 2 into 1 by root 2 is equal to root 2 so basically y is root 2 x is equal to sorry y equals to 1 by root 2 x equals to root 2 substitute now what is he asking us to find out x square plus 4y square so x square is you know root 2 square and 4 into y square y square is 1 by root 2 square so root 2 square is 2 plus 4 into uh, 1 by 2 right 4 into 1 by 2 is 2 2 plus 2, 4 will be the final answer. So option 4. If cos power 4 alpha by cos square beta plus sin power 4 alpha by sin square beta equals to 1, then the value of cos power 4 beta by cos square alpha plus sin power 4 beta by sin square alpha is options are 4, 0, 1 by 8, and 1. Right? Now, uh, you know, if you want to go by the regular way of solving it, it will be a long solution, right? It may take up to 1 minute, 1 and a half minutes, depending on how quickly do you get the right way of solving it. Right? Because there are multiple formulae that we know, there are multiple identities that we know, which one has to be used, how do we have to use it, so that we finally come to this form. Which form? Cos, square, cos power 4 beta by cos square alpha plus sin power 4 beta by sin square alpha. Maybe very, very lengthy sometimes, right? So you can try with random solutions, random values of alpha and beta. But whether it will satisfy or not, it's not confirmed, right? Let's do one thing. Let us, let us try with some uh, value of alpha and beta, right? It, it is, it is... It, it all depends on how quickly can you do the calculations. You may not put pen on paper, but to start with, I, I, I will tell you what I did. I started with alpha equals to beta equals to 45. And I would say I'm very lucky that it's satisfied. Right? Substitute, see what happens. Cos power 4 alpha. You know that cos alpha is 45, right? Cos 45 is 1 by root 2. So 1 by root 2 power 4. How much will that be? Are you able to follow? See alpha and beta both you have taken as 45 so cos 45 right divided by 
this is power 4 divided by cos 45 degrees whole square plus sin 45 degrees power 4 divided by sin 45 degrees whole square simplifying what happens see uh, this is equal to 1 we have we are actually trying to verify whether it satisfies that or not if it comes out to be 1 then we can substitute the same value of alpha and beta in the uh, required expression as well. so what happens cos 45 square this gets cancelled we are left with power 2 this gets cancelled we are left with power 2 so what do we have now cos square 45 degrees plus sine square 45 degrees is that equal to 1 yes it is equal to 1 because cos 45 is 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 square is 1 by 2 sine 45 is also 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 square is 1 by 2 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 1 which means taking alpha and beta both as 45 degrees satisfies the given equation right which is the given equation this one so which means i can now substitute alpha and beta as 45 in the required expression as well now some of you may ask me how do you know that alpha and beta both are 45 or how can we take both as 45 degrees why can't we uh, take alpha as 45 and beta as 60 right like, like you may say that alpha and beta are different variables they look to be different they appear different hence we must take different values we can take different values also but the point is is it mentioned anywhere that alpha and beta cannot be equal is it given somewhere no it is not so why not why can't we take it we are able to follow if you remember when we were solving questions from algebra we had seen that it is clearly mentioned that a is not equal to b in some cases so we cannot take equal values for a and b but is it given here that alpha is not equal to beta no so i can take alpha and beta both as 45 now substitute right substitute alpha and beta as 45 here and you get the required answer right so clearly this also will be in the same format if you if you see cos 45 power 4 by cos 45 power 2 sine 45 power 4 by sine 45 power 2 same same as what we have seen here right final result will come out to be option 4 which is 1